At Point Melante, sweeping hillsides reach down and touch a long stretch of natural shoreline. It includes a tranquil beach, which was formerly open to the public, acres and acres of open space, historical buildings, stunning views of San Francisco Bay at Mount Tam, and unique populations of native grasses. In all, Point Malate covers about 400 acres and has five miles of shoreline, and is sadly one of the last accessible bayside landscapes in Richmond and the entire Bay Area. In 1870, Chinese shrimpers set up a camp near Point Malate Beach as a sister operation to their camp across the water at Point San Pedro called China Camp. In 1901, Standard Oil Company bought 500 acres of land on the other side of the ridge from Point Malate and began the refinery that became Chevron in 1984. In 1907, shortly after San Francisco's devastating earthquake and fire made life tough for the California Winery Association, they moved their winery across the bay to Point Malate. The winery flourished there until Prohibition in 1919. A small village of wooden cottages that were home to winery workers still remain. In the late 1960s and early 70s, there was a whaling station just to the north of Point Malate, at the tip of the peninsula. This was the last whaling station to operate in the U.S. During World War II, the U.S. Navy moved in to use Point Malate and its piers as a fuel depot. The Navy maintained the public beach, and Richmond residents and visitors from nearby cities continued to come to swim, fish, and enjoy Point Malate's spectacular views and unique tranquility. The Navy closed down their operations and gave the property to the city of Richmond. The city, citing lack of funds, closed the beach down and erected tall fences all along the property. The hillsides are home to native coast live oak, coyote brush, toyon, coffeeberry, and diverse wildflowers. It is also home to several species of native grass, which have become extremely rare. Our local Native Plant Society warns that any but the most careful development at Point Malate will have destructive consequences, both immediately and in long term. I didn't know this was a park. It says City of Richmond Park. So why is it locked? It says it's a park, but I've never heard of it before. In 2004, instead of going through with initial plans for Point Malate, which included renovating historical buildings and providing recreational and educational access for the public, city leaders entered into plans to build a 150,000 square foot resort casino. Plans which call for two giant hotels a shopping mall, and parking for 3,000 vehicles. There are several steps and hurdles that have to occur in terms of any kind of development for Point Malati. The city currently has an agreement with upstream development, but as I said, there are many steps that have to occur first. And one of them is a full CEQA review. And that is a full environmental impact review of the entire property. This has to occur before any transfer of property um, occurs, before any sale of property occurs. Right now, the general plan update is going through a environmental review process of its own, looking at three different options, three different land use options. One, to keep it predominantly open space. Yeah, but I don't remember this fence. I don't need that. I don't really think it was here when we used to come out here. Yeah, let's see if we can get down to the beach. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the beach. Yeah, we're going to have to It was a real treat. All summer we would come maybe once or twice a month and just have fun on the beach as a family. Yeah, and it was nothing that we really had to plan. It just a, a beautiful morning, and in the afternoon, our parents just made sure we came to the beach. And we didn't have to plan it because there would always be people out here that yeah. we could run into, you know, from the neighborhood or whatever, because it was a real popular place back then. Yeah, I remember doing it at least until I reached my teenage years. But it doesn't take away from this view here. I yeah. mean, I, this is my favorite. Yep, I think so. <laughs> I think so. It's really a great, great place to come. And then all of a sudden, you know, 40 years later, 30, 40 years later, we're looking at this and it, and it hasn't been developed and the parks are all locked up. And if you come out here and park your cars and walk around too much, you have to uh, 
you know, you have to be worried about the authorities uh, coming in and kicking you out of this place, and, and, and that's really not fun. To give it the um, option of recreational and commercial mixed-use development. Behind me is Mount Tamapayas. On the left side of me is the East Brothers Lighthouse Bed and Breakfast. What great tourist attraction and all in view from Point Malati. Take a look at today. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just gorgeous with red rock over here and the, the beautiful architecture of the Richmond Santa Fe Bridge. And, and look at the sailboats. I was a sailor. And uh, I used to sail. And of course, in sailing, you get a different perspective. And I've had just a whole lot of fun looking in here uh, with my friends on the boats and saying, you know, I live right over there. That's Richmond. And they get surprised. Oh, that's Richmond. Well, that's really nice out there. That's beautiful. What are we seeing? And I get the binoculars out and I show them Winehaven. And I show them the top of the ridge here. And I said, you know, that blocks us from Standard Oil, which is a great thing uh, because it's beautiful. And I say, if you look real closely, you can see the old buildings that were built by the, uh, the winery people. I used to think that they were military because, of course, the Navy was out here as a fuel dump, using this as a fuel dump. Maybe we can continue uh, having those kinds of, of historical uh, artifacts that we have a lot of on the Richmond shoreline anyway. And this one being probably one of the most pristine, one of the most beautiful in terms of views. Who knew there was a castle in Richmond? Now imagine a clubhouse for teens, or better yet, an educational environmental center. What I'm limited to now in terms of, of recreation and fun is, is to bring my bike club out here. Uh, I belong to the recumbents of the East Bay, and uh, uh, we usually just do the Bay Trail, which is fun, but it gets a little boring. But when I tell them, come on, I want to go show you Point Malati, uh, they say, what's that and where is that? And I give them a little bit of the history. And they see these parapets on the building out here. I mean, it's just wonderful. You know, their eyes get big and they want to stop. My bike friends uh, love the, the long rolling hills here. Uh, it's, it's a little tiring to ride up them, but boy, when you go down them, it's just, uh, just a whole lot of fun and you get to see, I mean, where, where else do you get a vista like this? Uh, and we want to keep it, uh, we want to keep it for the public, we want to keep it for bikers, we want to keep it for uh, citizens of, of Richmond. And the third option is to bring in the casino proposal. 150,000 square foot resort casino, two giant hotels, a shopping mall, and parking for 3,000 vehicles. If these plans go forward, the Point Malate portion of our Bay Trail will actually have to pass beneath a wing of one of these hotels. Not a very natural nature experience. Each of these options have to go uh, under this full environmental review through the general plan process. So it's really being scrutinized in many different ways. Point Malate could be an ideal place for members of our entire community to gather in a peaceful, safe setting. A place where residents and visitors alike can enjoy nature, exercise, go fishing, relax, and get involved in exciting community projects that build healthy ties between people and neighborhoods. A plan which protects and promotes a healthy environment at Point Malate is sure to pay off in sustainable green-collar jobs, attract new sustainable businesses, increase property values, and create a positive public image and public pride. It will benefit our youth, our retired, and all the people in between. Plans for Point Malate should focus on healthy and sustainable outdoor recreation. Did you know that our recreation contributes to $730 billion annually to the U.S. economy? Richmond can participate in all this and more if we stick to plans that are sustainable and environmentally wise, limit development to existing footprints, and preserve historic sites. Suggestions for realizing such plans include sports and exercise complex, campground, hostel, or bed and breakfast, and even environmentally focused art center or Environmental Education Center. Our new general plan proposes healthy new vistas for Richmond, a sustainable economy that thrives on green businesses, green jobs, and a deep respect for the environment we all share. What I do think is beneficial for the citizens of Richmond is to have a sustainable and a healthy Point Malati. And I believe this is the vision of many throughout Richmond. Oh yeah, yeah baby, yeah! It's not too late to claim this place for the citizens of Richmond. Let's make this vision come alive.